What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at the LG ThinQ, how to do um, a tub clean. So before I go on to do it, I just want to show you how dirty it is inside. Um, I've run, I've ran a couple of loads of laundry already and um, this is how much lint has accumulated on it. So what I'm going to do is um, run a tub clean and then also drain the plug. Please note that the LG ThinQ does not have a lint filter. So once again, this is um, a washer and dryer combination and it does not have a lint filter. So if you're going to use this machine, you should clean it regularly. And so the first thing I'm going to do is um, obviously I've already put my soap in, in here. A bit of soap in there and then I'm going to turn it. Oh, Obviously, you have to close it first. So we close it first, and then we're going to turn on the machine and turn it to tub clean. Tub clean, and then after that, I hit start. So it should take um, a while to do the tub clean. It will give me a time signature just now. After it's done the tub clean, what I do is I wipe it down, which I'll show at the end of the video, and then I'll drain the plug, which is located over here. Okay, so our tub clean is done. Gonna take a look inside, see what it looks like now. It looks like we still have a bit of residue over there. And as you can see, this is all the lint that's in the washer. So this thing does not have a lint filter, which is why you have to run it up clean and then wipe it down once you're done. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So what I'll use are wet wipes and I'll just run, wipe it on the inside. Get all this gunk off, as you can see, it's accumulating already. Right. All this is supposed to be caught by the lint filter, but since it doesn't have one, this is what you'll have to do. This is my least favorite part about the machine. Um, I really don't like cleaning it out, but it is what it is. So it does accumulate a lot of lint inside. And if you don't clean it out, you're gonna have an issue with it clogging up. So also this rubber tends to accumulate um, lint. So wipe around the edges. That's a lot of lint. And finally, I'm going to do the, the glass. So it is not a long process to clean it out. It takes about two minutes for me to do it properly. If you look up here, you do have quite a bit of lint over there, especially on this orange part right here. So we want to be careful to clean it out. So at the end of the day, is the LG ThinQ worth it having to go all through this? Well, it's a once a week process, so I guess it is worth it if you prefer to have a unit that doesn't take up so much space and does both washing and drying at the same time. 
but um the other thing you've got to be aware of is the draining the filter which i'll cover in the next video thanks so much for watching this has been victor on the learning explain show